Last year, I got in trouble because I'm the one that said, no, we don't need to do the Luminaria because I didn't think we were in the route of the yeah. the thing, like where people drive through. We're not in the historic district and the money from this benefits the the wrap, yeah. which is Riverside. We're like literally one block. What is it, Riverside what? Um, Riverside R.A.P. R.A.P. Wrap, yeah. Preservation. Preservation, that's right. Yeah. Riverside Arts. Architectural Preservation. There you go. That might be it. Riverside. So yeah. these will all be lit all along the house? Yeah, we didn't participate. Oh, yeah. No, but our year. neighbors oh, were yeah. so good last Hello. year. Hello. Hey, I have an activity for you this evening. I just had to tell my parents about what were we saying? So last year we didn't do it, but all of our neighbors, remember? Yeah. They came out and put some in front of our house they did. for us. So. Ace is like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, so this year we're sure. ready. Yeah, <sighs> we got it. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys. I know. Are you giving her kisses? Sandy, come give her kisses. Sandy, come give Nola kisses. Give your sister. That's your sister. Aw. This is Nala's and no kisses. Are you ready to go see the pretty lights? Do you wanna go right on the cart and see the pretty lights? Let you all charged up, Chica. Here you go. Uh, I have a guy. You're welcome. Are you guys ready? We're yeah. so ready. You ready? I love the lights. It looks great. Oh, yeah. Tell him, Kate L. <laughs> Gee, how are you doing on that scooter, my I'm guy? Nervous. You're I'm okay. Nervous. You'll be all right. Ah. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, so you're going to lead the way. You're going to go through the park. Yeah, we'll go through the park and okay. we'll just do a little parade. Yep. Isaiah, you got jams back there? I got jams. Okay, let's go. Okay. This is, this is the worst road ever. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why would you ever turn down that road? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wrong way, dude. Can you say bye? Bye. Thanks for going with us. Bye. 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 All right, guys. Thank you guys for inviting us. Yeah, of course. Can't, can't make it out that way, I don't think. Yeah. Ah! It's open. Oh, did you have so much fun? I did. Yeah. Oh, that was a good time. It was fun. Everybody out riding their bikes and walking and stuff. Right that was so cool. I love this party town. Yeah. That's one of our favorite things to do. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my Santa shirt. <laughs> Okay, we have something that we need to talk about. Because we had a lot of questions on it and so many people have asked for help on elopement. Oh. I posted the picture on Instagram. I talked about, you know, and in, in the video, like Isaiah and I went so far away mm -hmm. and Abby was still there, you know? Yeah. Obviously I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe, like when I turned around, I was like, holy crap, we're far away. Like I didn't know I was that much of a runner. <laughs> but you know, 
in that situation, like had that been a few years ago, that would have been terrifying. Yeah. Um, even then I was like, oh, we were too far away. But people need help with elopement. So with our experience, and I'll just kind of give you, and, and as we're talking, like you therapists that watch, please feel free to fill in and comment um, you know, down below and, and any tips or help with that. But I'll, I'll give you, from a parent's point of view, like like what, what we did, what helped us. Abigail used to be like the leash kid. Like we go to Disney and stuff. She was on, on a leash, then we went up to the backpack, which she has now. Um, with the with the clip she's had that forever and that's just an extra little little you know a handle for us to hold on to in, in sketchy situations but really now like she doesn't have to hold our hand when we go places right I mean it's yeah. like she does really well really well and now even if she does run um, she typically will just run a short distance and then stop and you guys have seen a couple of videos um, where we've been at the beach and she's gone off and we're like watching her the whole time. Yeah. And I'm just so proud of her because she's 15. Like we want you to be able to do those things, you know, girlfriend. Yeah. So, um, so it's important that she has that freedom. Right. And that we not chase her unless it's a safety issue. And that's, so that's the big thing. So really starting out, can you turn that back on for me? Thank you. Starting out, the important thing to find out though, and this is with any behavior, is the cause of that behavior. That's the most important thing because just stopping a behavior, like flat out stopping it, you're not really solving any for anything for for the person that that it ma that matters most in this, and that's that's the the child eloping. Now, eloping, if you're not familiar um, with the term, it doesn't just mean to go to Vegas and get married. It also means to um, to leave an area or run. What's going on with this? Leave an area or run without permission, basically. Yeah. Um, in 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 our world, in the autism world, it often means to to run or or leave a house without you know people knowing it or a classroom or whatever. So the first thing to find out is the cause, the reason why, and work on that because that can oftentimes you know is it a sensory issue? Is there too much going on in an area and it's it's overwhelming uh, sensory wise? for the person, is there not enough going on and it's, sen it's a sensory seeking thing. Sometimes the act of just running um, can be sensory seeking. It's, you know, the, the feet pounding on the ground, the wind blowing in their hair, all those things. It, it And we believe that's how it was a lot with Abigail. She just wanted to run, man, like all the time wanted to run. And obviously that's, that's a safety issue. So what you have to do, what we had to do is really extinguish that behavior. It could not happen because then it would become attention seeking. That's another possibility is that the running is getting them chased. Kadel loves to run and get chased. Like he requests it. But what they did with him, instead of just allowing him to run all the time and then chase him, is they they taught him to request to be chased. And then, of course, reinforcing him asking uh, by chasing him. If you're like, no, not now, and you said no all the time, then he would take it upon himself to just run, you know, and make you chase him. What are the what are the other causes of it? I mean, oh, I'm um, seeking a desirable thing, a thing, water. Right right yeah um, lots of kids run towards water uh, there's a toy across the cloud or they know if they have a sensory room in the school or whatever like Abigail does running out the classroom because they know they can get to that sensory room that kind of thing so then that would be we're not proponents of punishment for elopement that does not work please don't do that you reinforce the the, the lack of elopement even when you have them in a situation like like we had Abigail with the with the kid leashed I hate those things but you know you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. You had the the kid and leash or the backpack. We were going to like places that were gonna be like busy, Disney. like Disney World. Yeah. It wasn't like an all the time thing for us because I think she would have gotten um, dependent. Yeah, dependent on that, and so that wouldn't have been beneficial for anyone. Another one is that Abby is uh, hers was a lot of times attention seeking. Yeah. Um, you know, just like with the chase thing, if she's not able to request that she would just do it just to get our attention like get us she likes us to be she likes life to be chaotic yeah oh <laughs> yeah. yeah she would look back at us she would run and look yeah. back at us so okay so boil it down to steps here figure out the causation of it what is causing that behavior uh work on that if it's something that you can remove 
um, that's going to help a lot with the elopement. But really getting rid of that behavior is reinforcing the opposite behavior, the, the non-elopement, right? So even if when she was on her leash, even when we had her by the handle of the backpack or whatever, if you let go for a minute and you're like, good job staying next to me, you know? We're not big fans of edible reinforcers, but sometimes that's what it takes. Um, if, if your child is extremely food driven, I mean, that's, you know, we're talking about, um, morsels of reinforcers here. Uh, and this is not, I want to be clear. This is not treats for what you're, it's not, this isn't dog training. Okay. You're not providing a treat for doing a trick that you're talking about the independence of, of a child and the safety of a child and another human being. Okay. Th this is a teaching method. Um, if you can go without edible reinforcers awesome please by all means do that you know just like a verbal reinforcement you know good job you know or hey let's go run or you know let's go somewhere and run yes yeah. so many so many th options isaiah when he was volunteering at abby's school he had a little boy that loved fire truck stickers and so isaiah would go and buy little fire truck stickers and that was his reinforcer um and we started and even now when we have a in that so cute it's so cute <laughs> even that's now. abby's one of abby's christmas presents from summer and becca yeah um how cute is it so cute so um even now like when we start a new she turned that <laughs> looked at the sticker and then said great job summer and becca you like <laughs> thanks for reminding her all the time of what you want that's so um, cute sorry but even yeah. now, when we start a new task, like when we start new things, yes, ma'am, not right now, okay? In a little bit. You wanna get your clock? Have a drink. Get um, your clock and show you when you can take a bath, okay? But even right now, we still have moments where we wanna like add a new task to Abby's day, and we might have to use edible reinforcers, but we're able to pull back on them really quickly now. Right. We weren't in the beginning. So don't think it's going to be like an all, you know, forever thing. True. it's not. True. And even when we teach you new tasks, you don't have to have an edible reinforcer all the time. Right? And I'm going to tell you, you can cut a gummy bear really tiny. Yeah. Like it's so many pieces. You can probably get 10 pieces of gummy bear. I, I'll never forget when we went in for our first parent collaboration. I was like, I've never seen anyone do so many tasks for one goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so there you go. It's, um, there's a lot of process, a lot of steps to the process. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is, is extinction and, and positive reinforcement. Reinforce the heck out of that kid, you know, praise them for, for uh, not running, you know? You gotta know, you have to realize that as parents sometimes we're like, well, you know, it's, it's quote unquote normal behavior not to run, so why, you know, you don't naturally reinforce that. You don't naturally say, hey, good job for, for doing what you consider to be the basics. But for Abigail back then, running was the basics for her. That was normal for her, you know, that desire to run is no different than your desire to do anything else. So look at the cause first, make sure it's not adverse sensory input that's causing it because that's the worst, like literally the worst for them. Um, if it's a situation they're trying to get out of, maybe just don't put them in that situation because that's really not something that you can, that, that you're going to provide uh, an opposite stimulant or, but whatever opposite of that stimulant you provide or whatever reinforcer you provide is not gonna overpower that negative sensory input that they're receiving that they're trying to get away from. So um, that's our, our opinion on it. And well, and not just our opinion, but what we've experienced from, you know, Abigail's life in the last decade of, uh, uh, longer than a decade since she was like three of dealing with elopement consistent constant elopement up until just a few years ago so yeah like i said please if you're a therapist comment down below and uh, help people out you know and if you have questions please ask down below um you know and, and try to reserve the helping people out unless you have experience in the field that that would be you know don't lead people astray but we definitely appreciate the help and the community helping each other i got super lazy with this one i didn't even warm up the laminating machine i just used packing tape but that's that's a good tip for people, <laughs> you know. Not everybody has a laminating machine. You got to buy one of those. So I'm not. I'm not at start adding words to one to the to the, so I like to that. help with word identification. Mm -hmm. What's that called? Sight words. Oh yeah. Sight words. So nine. Yeah. I also I 
I, none of my magnets worked. I want to use a magnet to put this on the fridge. Come see that. So I'm just kind of leaning it in the kitchen. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come Don't here. stop believing. Don't stop believing. What's that say? What is that? Don't take it off. What's that called? What is it? Show me. That's right. That is a bath. Look. Bath. When this gets there, you're taking a bath, okay? Tomorrow. Right? This, we're gonna do a bath next. We did dinner, what's, look, look, come here real quick. What is that, what is that? No, what is that one? That one's eat, that one's dinner. This one, what's this one though? Can you show me? Eh. Wait, show me, what is that? Hey dad, I just showed you. Tell me what that is. Tell me. Don't get mad, tell me what that is. Show me what that is. That is a bath, yeah. And when the green arrow gets there, you're gonna take a bath, okay? Yep, that's the timeline for today. It's like, no, no, cart. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, it's gonna take a while. We'll, we'll figure it out. She's like, nah, I just like tap at the pictures. I'll pull my hand down. Dude, that ride destroyed me. We just had yeah. a car You just ride. took a super long ride. That was so funny. Yeah. She's <laughs> like, reality is, what I make it. What are you doing? Did she just dump it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there was a, it was just a little. It was a good pour. Yeah, good pour. I mean. Got a little treat. There you go. A little, a little sip of it. Get out of here. Summer. Like I'm running the show. It's chaos. I'm running the show. <laughs> I love how happy communication makes her. Like, when you have those conversations with her, you know, even though it doesn't go in the direction, like, okay, we're gonna do the clock and it's gonna be perfect, and it doesn't go the way that you imagine it's gonna go, just how happy it makes her to be able to communicate with you effectively and have that yeah. conversation. Oh, yeah. To have so. her know that, like, to know that she's being understood even if it's, she doesn't get what she wants. Right, yep. She's just like, yep, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was just gonna be like a, you know, fun little like Christmas, like go see the lights, have fun type of thing. But it kind of turned into something a little educational and cool. And I'm, I'm happy to answer questions. All right, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Don't you move that? <laughs> it's like these will just go okay. anywhere, huh? This is just not working. <laughs> She's like, Dad, I'm way smarter than this thing. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you just did that to me. Miss Brady's gonna be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. No. Tomorrow, we'll ride the cart. Dang. Tomorrow, we can do a donut when we ride the cart. <gasps>